There's nothing so much, let's just be right on point. Hi guys, how's it going? I was on YouTube and I was watching tier list videos. It was really fun to watch. So that got me thinking, what could we do on my channel? As a classical trained violinist, I decided to rank my favorite violin composers of all time. All the time! I'm going to rank them all now. We can start. As you can guess, one of the best violinists of all time, both as a composer and as a player. But we never listened to him though, right? I don't know. I will put Paganini to the top. No. Yes. No. It's very obvious. He is an amazing composer. And for me, in music history, there is before Paganini and after Paganini. He created a new era. There are so many violinists who were inspired by him. There were so many famous pianists like Liszt, Brahms, Schumann, affected by his music and composition styles. So that makes him on the top of this list. I haven't played whole 24 caprices. I played 11 of them. Probably I will record them soon and share with you too. You always I love Pagani Concerto number one, two, and my personal favorite actually is number three. You should go and check it out. There is a recording Henry sharing. You should definitely listen it from him. And the funny thing about Paganini, there are so many violinists who don't like his pieces. I can understand why. One of my old teachers told me, people who cannot play Paganini well, they are the ones who don't like him. Okay, that's an exaggeration, I know. Sorry guys, but that is how it is. So we have Bach here. I think for string players, Bach has always a special place in our hearts, you know. <laughs> okay, probably not for everyone. We cannot deny that Bach was a genius. Okay, I'm gonna put him on A. have here Wieniawski. Well, I think Wieniawski definitely goes to everywhere. I think as a violinist, Wieniawski definitely should be on the S tier. Yes. He should definitely be on the top because his compositions, his works, I think he's amazing, you know. Don't be flexing. He composed great. Some of my favorite pieces by Wieniawski are Polonaise, A major and D major, of course. His violin concerto first and second one. That is absolutely amazing. I never played them though, because I don't have a good staccato. Oh, I'm gonna cry. All right, next. Chrysler. Chrysler definitely goes to A for me. Firstly, he was an amazing violinist himself. We have his own recordings and he plays his own pieces in those recordings. Especially I love his recordings with Pagan. What the f I cannot speak. <laughs> Especially I like his recordings where he played together with Rahmaninov. Those recordings are really good. I think nobody can deny that once you hear Chrysler melody, you will always remember it. Like Liebes Leid and Liebes Freud. My grandmother can sing Chrysler melodies. Even she doesn't remember my name anymore. I just recorded one of his pieces actually, and I just shared some days ago. My followers saw that, of course. I played with the amazing pianist Miki. I think it was a really nice recording. We recorded Liebes Leid and Liebes Freud. If you go to my channel, you will see that I only shared Liebes Freud because I want to share the Liebes Leid next week. You can go and check it out. I will put the link down. So the next is Tartini. Personally, I don't remember the last time I played Tartini. I think I... I think I never played Tartini. I never played it. So I'm gonna put him... to D. Because I never played his any pieces. 
I think his most famous violin work, Trill Sonata, you should go and check it out. It's really nice and very virtuosic piece, very good for your hand muscles, you know. So the next is Mozart. All right, Mozart. You should put Mozart somewhere. Should I put it to B or A? That's the thing. I don't know, do I go with A or B? Uh, definitely not S here, because he didn't compose that much. I will put him to A. Now I'm gonna explain why I put him to A. He has five violin concertos. I played number four and five. My favorite is number four. Sometimes I like number four, sometimes I like number five. What can I do? How many violin sonatas Mozart have? I don't know, let's check. 36 violin sonatas. Damn. He has 36 violin sonatas, oh my god. I think I should put him definitely to A, next to Baibo. Do you know who is Baibo? Baibo is Mr. Bach, yeah. And Mr. Heifetz called him Baibo. All right, let's continue. Who the f are you? I'm kidding, I'm sorry. We have Max Reger. Reger sonatas, I think they are one of the most famous sonatas he composed for violin. In my opinion, I didn't hear famous violinists record his pieces that much. I don't know why. Maybe if you know, just comment it below and let me know what you think. I think Reger should go to B. He should go to B. I know he composed a lot of pieces for violin. He inspired a lot of musicians. To be honest, I don't know him really well, so it feels kind of important, right? Like Reger, it sounds important. I think I'm gonna put him to B. Maybe later we will change it, I don't know, let's see. So the next is Kreutzer. I think every violinist knows Kreutzer etudes because Kreutzer etudes are like violinist's bible. So I'm gonna put Kreutzer to A, next to Chrysler. There's only one reason I put him to A, because of his sonatas. Uh, what? <laughs> Not his sonatas, because of his composition, because of his etudes. Kreutzer etudes are like charny etudes of Pianists. That is very important for us. If you never played Kreutzer etude, you are not a violinist. You have to learn Kreutzer etude. And you know what? Now I feel actually I'm getting, I'm hyped. I will record Kreutzer etude and share it in the future. I don't know when, but I'm gonna share it. Kreutzer etude. Which one do you want me to record? Let me know. Next is Beethoven. Wow. Beethoven is definitely D. No! <laughs> I'm kidding guys, don't take me serious. Beethoven is not D. I think Beethoven goes to B, next to Mr. Reger. There are a few reasons why I put him to B. His own idea of music itself was revolutionary. And as you know, he was the bridge between classical and the romantic period of <laughs> So I will put him to B, because I disrespect Beethoven right now. <laughs> I'm kidding guys, they are all jokes. I don't think he gave something incredibly important to violin, that's why I put him to B. And if you ask me what is my favorite Beethoven violin piece, I cannot answer you, like, they are all great and similar. Like, I mean, if you ever played Beethoven sonata, you know what I mean. They are all kind of similar to each other. Am I right or wrong? <coughs> so the next we have Viotom. I hope I say his name right. Viotom? 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 Jutem? Totem? I don't know. You think I pronounce his name right? Let me know. I think it's Viotom? Viotom? Henry Viotom? I don't know. Viotom. You know who I'm talking about. I played his concerto number five. It's an amazing piece. I love the fourth movement of that concerto. It sounds really good and so emotional, you know. <laughs> it makes me cry when I play. I'm gonna cry. So I'm gonna put Viotom 
to to B next to Beethoven. As a violinist, he composed five violin concerti, if I remember it right. Is it five or seven? I don't know. I always mix these two with Mozart, you know. I think it's five. The reason I put him to B, because we have Wieniawski here. But when you compared Wieniawski and Viotone to each other, I think Wieniawski did much more compared to Viotone. What? But Viotone has something great. He is the teacher of Isai, which is an incredible point. So 10 points to Gryffindor. Yeah. And also there is a famous video where Yashaifet play Viotone 4. His playing is really incredible. That's one of his best performances ever. You should definitely check his recording in the masterclass. So the next we have Izai. Wow, Izai, big guy. I will put Izai to A. Actually, I want to put him to S. What? It sounds wrong. I want to put him next to Wieniawski, but the reason he cannot be there, because as a violinist, I mean, he's great, and he has these six famous solo sonatas for violin. But on the other hand, he never composed a violin concerto. I never heard it. Is there a violin concerto? Do you know it? I don't know. If you know, give me the link, give me the notes. I want to play it. He inspired lots of uh, 20th century violinists. My favorite is a piece is Sonata number no. 2, 3 and 5, but 5 has to be played by Kavakos. Number 2 is my favorite. I love the last moment of number 2. It is an amazing piece. Amazing. And yes, I played number 2. That's why it's my favorite. So we have two left. Vinyavsky. No, what? The next one is Vivaldi. Vivaldi's Four Seasons, maybe the most famous classical piece composed ever. I'm gonna put him to A. He scores! I played some of his concerto, like A minor. I never played any Four Seasons. Yeah, I didn't play that. Probably I will not play. If there is an orchestra who wants to play with me, call me, I'm ready. I will play. Don't be flexing. I think he's great. I love his four seasons and he composed lots of things for violin and he was the first world star violinist. So because of that, I'm gonna put him to the A and I'm sure everybody heard his melodies at least one time in their life, like four seasons. And the last is Berio. I'm gonna put Berio here. Yes, under Jaeger. Not Jaeger, oh my god. Do I want alcohol or what? What's Jaeger, you know? <laughs> I need Jaeger bomb right now. <laughs> I played only one piece by Berio. I'm sure so many of you played his violin concerto when you were a child. I think Berio was famous for establishing a new performance style, the mixture of French-Belgian violin school. Violinists don't perform his pieces regularly because I don't think he has something great to offer. <laughs> Man, I'm roasting the biggest composers of violin. He was a handsome guy and what he did was actually similar to Wieniawski or Viotam. He combined classical elegance with technical virtuosity and that's what Wieniawski did. That's what Berio did and that's what Viotam did. And what Paganini did, Paganini gave us headaches hours of headaches. You can practice as much as you want. There will be some kind of passage, some kind of piece composed by... Damn! <laughs> oh man. There will be always some kind of piece composed by Paganini, which will give you some time. Lots of headache and lots of hand pain. I know so many of my violinist friends who were practicing Paganini pieces and they suffered and they stopped playing violin. Oh. No! But, you know, Violinists don't cry, violists cry. I'm kidding, we cry too. We cry a lot. We cry more than in other instrumentalists, except pianists. I think pianists cry a lot too, right? Let me know in comments what you guys think. Pianists, violinists, or violists? Which one cries all the time? 
So that's it. That's my tier list here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Actually, for a long time, I didn't use my English, so I'm sorry for my Tarzanish English. I think Tarzan speaks better than me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. And don't forget to share it with your friends. See you in the next video.